Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, today what we're going to be covering is a couple things that I forgot to do in the last episode and I am going to make those corrections today as well as design a couple more uh, smaller trees that we can implement into our world as well. So I don't want the trees to be so populated where they'll be like, uh, it'll be a forest, but uh, we do want some random trees here and there. Uh, for the biome. So I'm looking for uh, two things, uh, one being logs and the other tag being the um, leaves uh, for the uh, leaves group and then there's one for logs. So we need to make sure that we add our logs to the logs group tag and then our leaves to our leaves tag. Uh, once we've done that uh, we can make sure that we can update the um, particular blocks in the what do you call it, the uh, world and stuff. So in the world, um, I have kind of like a little template that I'm going to be using uh, for different sizes and stuff. Now this is the larger size. Uh, it's a pretty big, massive tree. Um, might have to make a little bit of adjustments for the size just a little bit uh, so we can fit it inside the grid pattern. Um, but I'm just basically checking to see if the leaves are um, persistent and if they are persistent what that means is basically um, it will not start to decay so I'm just checking right now the actual tags for the logs to confirm that the logs are set up properly uh, this will probably make it a lot easier than you know starting to replace the leaves and stuff and then finding out that it's not uh, set up. So I think this is pretty much good to go. Uh, what I ended up started doing was basically just going ahead and uh, getting the location for both of the corners. And then I'm basically just replacing the leaves for my custom mod with the custom leaves of the same thing. Uh, what, this, what, what this does is it sets the persistency to... Um, false which will make them allow them to decay and stuff so if all goes well and you have it under the right tag they shouldn't actually start to decay so as you can see here everything's going pretty well for the blocks and stuff like that it's registered the logs as a viable place for all the things so we're, sh we're good to do the start moving on to the rotation and stuff so one of the things that I needed to do was basically fill the area with structure voids. That's what the pink little icons are uh, for the texture there. Um, and then what I needed to do was basically set up a new name space kind of thing for the block. So I have this one right here. This one I already saved. This one's north. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this one to east. And the reason why I'm doing... Well, I have to load north first. So we're going to load north and we're going to set the rotation to 90 degrees so we can rotate the tree. And then we're going to offset the coordinates so we can kind of see where they are. So this needs to be 10 in this case. And we're getting a little bit closer and then one. And then we can see that it's directly over that tile grid. So I'm going to spawn that in. And you might notice that it's a little bit rotated, so it's not too much. But uh, the difference with this is we don't have the structure voids set up. So I'll have to actually set up the structure voids in that particular grid. Once we've done that, uh, we can basically go ahead and plop all that stuff down. We can kind of see what the grid is and everything like that. So it looks good. Uh, we just need to basically save that and we can move on to moving one more rotation we're going to do this again the same method that we did before and that's basically going ahead and loading the previous version so I want east and set it to 90 degrees and then we're going to need to set this to 10 I think oh, I'm not used to this uh, particular loading thing so I need it that's right 10 10 over here and that should be over that little tile set right there. So I'm going to plop that in. It should be rotated compared to the other ones. So another 90 degrees. So basically I've done that for all the different rotations. 
And now what I'm going to start doing is actually planting a smaller version of the tree, something a little bit smaller, about half the size. And I'm just going to kind of build up the different types of branches. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, symmetrical or anything like that. Actually, it's probably better if it isn't, honestly. And then you're going to build your tree around the actual logs and stuff like that so in this case every leaf that we place is going to be persistent so we don't have to worry about it at the moment but uh, we will have to make sure that we update the um, leaves and make sure that they will decay naturally uh, which will be really important for later on in developing the drops and stuff later on like the saplings and stuff like that so basically this is just the kind of tree design that i wanted um i kind of played around with the shape a little bit and worked on kind of just trying to be inside that uh, perimeter area and that's basically kind of what i got it might need a little bit more leaves in the part around here and i think that looks really good it looks very similar to the larger tree so just kind of add a little bit extra leaves around here just to kind of decorate it a little bit more just so it looks a little bit more natural and it does fit inside that little square so that's perfect and it's about half the size of the actual tree that we designed before which is even better so I'm just gonna kind of brush on randomly just where these little parts look like they could actually use a little bit more leaves just going around just seeing if there's enough space and stuff for them all right so as you can see it's about half the size comparing it to the large tree which is perfect um, now that I got all these set up and the rotations uh, what we can actually do is we can go back into amp crater and we can go ahead and start implementing these into the actual system we don't actually need this tree anymore um, because we have that little grid pattern over there just going to delete that and then we can get rid of that later if we want to but uh, as far as the big tiles I don't think we're actually going to need those so I'll probably just get rid of these or use them for structures or something like that like houses or something I don't know what I'll be using them for just yet but um, this should do us for what we need all right so closing out of M crater I'm going to make sure that I actually keep this don't ever delete your world that you just finished like creating all your um, things your your structures in because if you do that then you're gonna not be able to import them so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and just import them from Minecraft and I'm gonna select the world that uh, we want just basically we're in and we're gonna import all these different models so this will take a couple minutes to do because there's like eight models but um, I really wish you could kind of like shift click and like select multiple ones at the same time that would be really easy to do for all this but uh, in some cases that like I'm sure it would make more sense like for certain loading processes or something like that but I don't know uh, it's just a little bit time consuming to actually import each one <laughs> maybe the the developers or something can actually work on making that possible like shift clicking some of the more support for the features and stuff all right so we're going to set up a uh, few different configurations we're going to make sure that the structure can only spawn one instead of up to four uh, we don't want rotation and we want pretty much all the same settings uh, but we do need to adjust a few things in the files themselves so we're going to go ahead and duplicate the procedure and we're going to basically change some settings now I'm going to make it very um, easy to kind of follow with this in just a second uh, we have these two parts right here but I'm going to show you the technique that I use to actually shrink the size and this is actually really important so basically what we have here is we have kind of like a, a few different blocks we'll just say these are blocks these little dots here and uh, say we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we can probably go and we want to shrink it around to two around there maybe we want four so 
basically what we need is three for the in the offset and then the size needs to be our four blocks here so this is basically what you would actually design your settings in the config file for the procedure so keeping that in mind um, what we can do is we can go ahead and set these to uh, three for the offset and then four for the actual size and that will help with the generation probability uh, because then it will have a easier area for it to test in that particular center of the structure so basically the center of the structure is that little part that we're offsetting to and that's where we basically want to make sure that our structure is going to actually generate um, basically test for in that particular area because it's the center of the structure right so it doesn't matter too much about if it's on the sides but we don't want it overhanging too much on the all of the sides or just a, one side so we're going to make sure that it tests in the center and that should help with it um, making it look a little bit more natural all right so again with this one uh, this is the smaller tree so we're going to basically just go ahead and I think this one was like six six blocks so I'm gonna say we're gonna probably want um, probably about two blocks in the inner side and then this is what we're going to want to offset and then what we're going to do is we want to set the size to two so in this case two and two for this particular one and then we just need to set up the structures for generating all this so we need to make sure this links to that new procedure and then we can go ahead and uh, duplicate once we have all this set up so i'm going to select the new trigger and then we're going to go ahead and set the probability now i don't want it too high i'm kind of ballparking it around this particular size so we'll see if it works out in the end but i'm pretty sure it did uh, because you have to take in consideration that you have all these extra structures being generated for each rotation and you don't necessarily want a whole bunch of them to generate so going in game we can see that the small structure is generating which is perfect uh, it's generating on a pretty flat surface um, sure there will be one or two that might be a little bit overhanging but um, that's probably designed based on the structure size and the rotation and stuff uh, in some cases it might be a little bit over because of the stump but that's okay um, if you want it more centered into your structure try to build your tree from a center out uh, so if you're using a two by two, make sure that the stump location is in the center of the, the structure size. This will probably make it more accurate for it not uh, floating and stuff. Uh, that's just some advice for me with my custom script that I created. But um, you can find that script on my GitHub as well. But uh, yeah, it's this looks pretty good with the amount of trees. I wouldn't probably add too much more. Anyhow, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.